Hey everybody, I'm starting a new series called The Road to Deadpool and Wolverine, where every week I'll be going back and making custom minifigures from the X-Men films in chronological order of release all the way up to Deadpool and Wolverine. All right, guys, this week it brings us to X-Men Origins Wolverine, and I remember this movie being pretty bad, but holy crap, Batman, it was even worse than I remembered. <laughs> I mean, of course, Hugh Jackman is great. He's never terrible in any of these movies, but just the whole plot and execution of this movie was so messy. But it's still fun to build the characters as Lego, especially the Deadpool here. I can't wait to show you how that one came together. But be sure to hit like and subscribe down below, and let's get into the video. All right, we'll start off with Wolverine and Sabretooth, both of which are relatively easy to build, but uh, for Wolverine, we've got the Han Solo style hair, which I think the style matches really well. The only bummer is, of course, the best head to use is the original 2012 Wolverine, or really any Wolverine you happen to have, but all of them have the black sideburns there, which does kind of clash with the brown hair, but it's not really the end of the world. That being said, the torso comes from the Fast and the Furious Paul Walker set, um, the Nissan Skyline. Then, of course, I switched those out for tan hands with Wolverine claws and these legs that have gene printing on them. I think they came from the Build Minifig Station, but probably come in a lot of places, to be honest. Then, for Sabretooth, this one's pretty easy. I used Finn's hair from Star Wars with the head from Agent Callus from Star Wars Rebels, and the torso and legs come from DJ from Star Wars The Last Jedi. Up next, we've got quite a few characters, William Stryker, Agent Zero, as well as Chris Bradley. So for Chris, I used black legs with this torso from the Harry Potter theme. Then the head comes from Mary, since the same actor plays both of them, Mary from Lord of the Rings, that is, with some swept back hair here. For Agent Zero, I used the torso from Nick Fury from the Captain Marvel movie with black legs and the head from the Bruce Wayne from the Batman and just some regular black hair. And for Stryker, I used this military style torso from the Green Army Men from Toy Story with tan hands, the head from Hawkeye, Captain America, lots of different figures over the years with some swept back gray hair and some khaki legs. Going back and watching this movie, it is pretty unbelievable how horribly horribly they messed up Deadpool in this, but it's kind of bad in a funny way. <laughs> so to build Deadpool from the movie, I use these dark green legs with this flipped around torso. It's just like a, uh, you know, tie and suspender torso. But when you flip it around, you get the X, which works pretty well. Of course, I gave him the bare arms with the two different swords, the head from Hawkeye from the Marvel CMF series and some regular brown hair. Up next is Kayla Silverfox, who's pretty easy to build because it's just the legs and torso from Ross from the Friends Apartment set with this standard head that's come on tons and tons of different female Lego figures over the years and some long brown hair. Up next, we've got John Wraith and the Blob, and I'm really happy with how both of these turned out. For John Wraith, of course, we've got this tan fedora the head comes from mr t from the a team lego dimension set with the torso from aldrich killian with matching legs and hands swapped out then for the blob we actually have a lot going on here i use some pushback hair as you can see with the head from luke skywalker because i like that little bit of detailing we got on the chin right there that kind of makes him look a little heavier speaking of heavier he does have that uh sleeveless shirt on so i used this torso for from the Avatar line of sets. That way you get a little bit of print on there, but in this case, it almost looks like a little bit of sweat. Then to make him look more like the blob, I used these two one by one pieces that have a stud facing out on the front so that I could use this round piece to make it look like his belly. Then of course I gave him the red boxing gloves and short brown legs to put in there. That way he's still just a little bit taller than our mini, main minifig without putting these tall legs that would make him way too tall. So the proportions actually work out pretty good and I'm very happy with how it turned out. It's kind of crazy how they shoehorn Cyclops and Gambit into this movie just like for some reason. But honestly, I thought Gambit was pretty cool. I don't know. Maybe you guys disagree. Let me know in the comments. But to build both of these, for Cyclops, I used these khaki legs with this torso from Franklin from Lego Jurassic World with swapped out hands to match the head, which comes from Hawkeye from the 2012 Avengers movie with some uh, stylized brown hair here. Then Gambit is a lot easier to make. I just used this Joker card. I believe it came 
from the CMF, if I'm not mistaken, with the torso and legs from Snape from Harry Potter, the head from the Winter Soldier, and coincidentally, also the hair from the Winter Soldier. And finally, probably the main reason you guys clicked on this video, we have Deadpool. Now, I did have to break the purest method to make this figure, and what I did was I used just a little bit of nail polish remover right on the mouth to get the printing of the mouth off of the head. Once I did that, it actually looked pretty dang awesome. The torso comes from Mutant Leader from DC. Then I used some blue sticky tack on there, and I also used some wire cutters to cut the handles off of swords so that I could use the sticky tack to make it look like the swords are coming off of his hands. I really like the way that looks, but you do have to destroy several Lego pieces to build this. But at the same time, they destroyed the character of Deadpool in this movie, so what's the difference? Finally, the last thing you'll need are some dark red legs, and that will complete this week's show. Showcase. All right, guys, let me know what you thought of this video in the comments down below. Be sure to hit like and subscribe if you haven't already, and stay tuned for the next X-Men video coming up next week.